So let's just feed. If you have one shot, if you have one chance to do what you feet don't leave. Would you take your grasp and Happy Thursday. This chance just might be a breakthrough. You've only got one life. Shake it out. Just help out. Imagine living your dreams and everything you wanted became true. What would you do if you had one shot? If you had one chance to do what you love to? Would you take your grasp and embrace the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough? You've only got one life. And just know it's a canvas you paint to You probably got a dream to you Think about it non-stop, no one believes in you Everybody's trying to tell you that you can't do something And you feel goosebumps coming straight to you Yeah, just imagine all that can happen If you say yes to yourself One can live a happy life But only if it's built by himself Imagine living your dreams And everything Arms up you and down. true What would you do if you had one shot If you had one chance to do what you love to would you take your grasp and embrace the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough? You've only got one life, and just know it's a canvas you paint through. And that's a living your dreams, and everything you wanted became true. What would you do if you had one shot, if you had one chance to do what you love to? Would you take your grasp and embrace the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough? You've only got one life, and just know it's a canvas you paint through. If life was a painting, what are the tools that you had to use to paint it? Each one is a nice different color. Slow. Some are gonna be sweet and some just dangerous. Rotation. But no matter what they are, you are the one that is holding the brush. A lot of colors won't fit, but you're never gonna know unless you dare to try them out. Just help out. Imagine living your dreams and everything you wanted became true. What would you do? Enjoy this if help you out. Shot, if you had Wake up your body. Do what you love to. Would you take your grasp and embrace the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough? You've only got one life. Just know it's a Press canvas down. you paint And that's a living your dreams And everything you wanted became true What would you do if you had one shot If you had one chance to do what you love to Would you Feed take your mind And embrace the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough You've only got one life, one life. And just know it's a canvas you paint to And that's a living your dreams And everything you wanted became true What would you do if you had one shot If you had one chance to do what you love to Would you take it back the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough You've only got one life And just know it's a canvas you paint to One life, one canvas, one paintbrush Imagine Inhale And exhale I always firmly believe warming up with the health bounce For a couple minutes, three to five minutes You ready? So we're gonna do runners right here. We're in block three. This is our hit. Pressing down into the mat. Hit it. Hit it. Right here. I guarantee you're gonna be sore tomorrow after this workout. <laughs> I am doing so many new moves for you guys. I'm doing this 10 week course, functional movement course for physical therapy. It's a 10 week course. I've got to do it every day for 10 weeks. I'm going to bring a whole bunch of stuff to you. I already am. Ooh. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to go wide, like tire runs. It's a press down into the mat. Okay. Whew. Hit and functional fitness today. What are you thinking? You can tell I'm going through the 10 week physical therapy course. We're getting really deep in the anatomy of myofascial ligaments, tendons, and how our body is supposed to move. It's not about strength, man. It's about the stability, the mobility your body has to give. Press. Yeah. So next one, butt kickers. Now, you're just gonna move forward, visualize. You're kicking your heel to your butt. Butt kickers, hold on to your bar if you want. Go! Hold on to your bar, modify accordingly. Nice runner arms, right here. Push, push, come on. Right here, push. Get those heels to your butt. Visualize it. Whew. 
Yeah. Good job. Now we're going to do heels. Last time we did them front. We're going to just go wide like they're on the side. We're going to press the arms down to the side, go. to the outside of your thighs. It's that press down. Right here. It's working those hips a little different than pressing the heels straight to the front. Come on, use those arms. Beautiful heels. Press down into that mat. Whew. Good job. We're gonna go back into those runners because I love runners. It's about the press down. So, let's see. We may be going into strength, but press down. Let's go. Press it down. Down, down, down. Smash. Nice and heavy. Focus on that press down. Run those arms. Press it down. Press it down. Nice and even between that right and left leg. Press down, 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 down. Come on. Oh, shoulders melt away from your ears. Bounce. Rest. Bounce center. Whew. Steady state. Oh. Breathe. We're gonna ski if there's another one. I don't think there's another one. Bounce. Just a beautiful bounce in the center because it's Thursday bounce party. Just a beautiful bounce to end block three cardio. How about that? I love to just bounce on my rebounder. Free form bouncing. Hip, knees, toes pointing forward. All right. We're gonna go into some hip hinging leg work. But we're gonna finish this song with beautiful high bouncing. Steady state cardio right here. Side to side bounce. Now, if you have a fit stick, you don't have to have one. If you have it, grab it. And if you have a ball, grab it. Come on. Right here. Put that ball on the tops of your thighs. Can you get that stick? Put it on the middle of your spine. All right, we're gonna focus on that hip hinge. Two by two, here we go. Down, two, up, two. Now you want that stick to be super glued to your spine. Don't let it come off. Press down nice and even between that right and left leg. Now splay your toes. Don't roll on the outside of your foot. Don't roll on the inside of your foot. I'm really working on that hip mobility. Right now what we're doing is working on mobility and strength through the glutes and the hamstrings. Now if you want, you can lift your toes. You can press down, press up through your heels, up to you. Let's focus on this hip hinge form. We got eight more, hip knees, toes pointing forward. That fit stick is super glued to the middle of your spine. If you notice it wants to roll or come off, those are your imbalances. We got four more. Now you only go far, as far down as you can go. Some of us have greater range of motion because we work on mobility a lot. If not, do this workout over and over. Now, if you have that, grab your stick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come by our frame. So walk your, walk your toes by your frame. Nice and even, shoulders set back. We're gonna take that bar below the frame and we're gonna come up, here we go. Down, two, up to the, up, down. And then nice and up. So when we're coming up with our hands, feel your back extensors begin to work. So I'm doing a lot here 
We're working on the hamstrings and the glutes and hip mobility and back stabilizing muscles. You're gonna feel the rhomboids, you're gonna feel the trapezius, you're gonna feel the lats. Engage as you lift up. Move through that wet cement. Today, I want you to focus on that range of motion. So your shoulders are set back, down and away from your ears. Nice and equal between that right and left leg. Now, we're gonna hip hinge. Sit back nice and even between that right and left foot. Do you feel nice and equal? Sit your butt back, lift your toes. We're gonna take the bar to our forehead, up and down to the knees. Up, forehead, straight down to the knees. Up, forehead, not forehead, you guys, crown of your head, up. Crown of your head, straight down to the kneecaps. Up, here, up, down. Are you nice and equal between that right and left leg? You are not rolling out on the outside of your foot, you guys, or the inside of your foot. Proper form is everything. Up. Now we're gonna take it to the crown of our head. Crown of our head, press out. Crown of our head, press out. Crown, press out. Crown, press out. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Come up really quick. Whoo! Yeah, yeah, good stuff, right? Put that bar. Get that bar back on your spine. Equal it up, shoulders back. I told you, this is hip hinge time, you guys. You got like one minute left. Down, two, up, two. Down, two. That bar better be super glued. Shoulders set back. Down and away from your ears, you guys. 50-50 between that right and left heel. Don't put more weight on that left heel than the right. You're gonna create muscle imbalance. We don't want that. No, 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 no. I promise if you stick with me, you're gonna get the best shape of your life. Absolutely. All right, are you guys ready? Woo, come up, put this away. Put it away. Are you ready to go back into hip? Block four. Okay, we're gonna use those arms again. We're gonna just press narrow. And then arms are gonna press down, just like that. So right now, we're gonna be in a narrow jump, almost like the insides of your toes and the insides of your heels. Let's go right here. It didn't say hit it, but we're hitting it. So right here, you're in a narrow jump, middle fingers touch, pinkies down, nice and even, right here. Use those arms. Told you today is big arm movement day. Pressing down into the mat. Press, press. Just keep going. Press. Woo. All right, so we know we got these big arm movements, right? So before we were a narrow, we were a narrow bounce. Take it one foot apart. So feet are hip width apart. Go. And same thing with the arms. Pressing down, middle finger touches, and then pinky down, right here. Push, let's go. Push, push, push. Nice and evenly as you press down into that mini trampoline. Don't create a greater muscle imbalance. Start to get really in tune with your body. Okay wider one more foot step out so this is wider your feet are wider than hip width apart same arms it's all about that press arms up and down middle finger go go you're gonna really feel if you're pressing with those heels you're gonna really feel the glutes hamstrings really activate also the tibialis anterior in the front because your foot is more in a dorsiflexion pattern, you're gonna feel that front muscle engage a little more. Do you feel those shoulders? Rhomboids and lats, middle finger, pinky touch. Okay, so I want you to really 
pull. Engage those back muscles. We're gonna ski. Same arm pattern the whole time. Middle finger touches. Middle finger pinky, like you're just grabbing a rope, pulling it down, moving through that wet cement. Let's go. That's why I'm not using egg weights today. I want big arm movements over right hand weights. Come on. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna go back into the narrow, back into the narrow. So if you wanna visualize, your big toes are touching and the insides of your feet. See what that narrow feels like. Press down, go. arms, go. Middle finger, pinky down. Let's go. Come on. Ah. Press it down, nice and equal. I'm starting to get tired, I can tell. Even for me, I'm not pressing down nice and equal. Focus on proper body mechanics. On that proper press down, feel the glutes and the hamstrings. Really engage. Oh. Press. Uh, whew. Side to side. I love that side to side shuffle. Right here. If we have one more song, one more hit, we're gonna press down quick, arms out, but I don't think we do. Whew. Right here, steady state. We're getting that heart rate back down. So today is a really feel good rebounding class. We've worked hard all week. Today we're pushing, but not in a super duper duper hard push way. I would say this is beginner advanced to intermediate level today. Not easy, not hard, but we're moving right here. Beautiful, beautiful job. Okay, you can step touch, you can do your light bounce, you can do whatever you want. We're gonna go into balance. So this is the time you can take that resistant band tubing off. You can take that, if you have that off your rebounder because we're gonna actually use it balance work. Okay, you guys are bouncing again. Not required. Nothing required. So if you want, I just don't like the handles on it. Okay, we're going to hit balance. Feel free to use your stability bar. We're going to take that left leg out. We're going to just take the resistor band over the crown of our head. A little press out. Up. Two. We've got 60 seconds. Now your pinkies are pressing out. So it's a little tension on that resist band. Arms do not go behind your ears. Soft bend in the right knee, stabilizing in through that right side. Balance and hip abduction work. Gluteus maximus, hitting that gluteus medius with this exercise. Again, your hands can be on the bar, your call. Oh, we only have one more block. Up. Take a break. Shake that out. Again, you can do all this on the floor. Okay, soft bend in the left knee. Right leg, press it out a little bit and lift. We got 45 seconds. Beautiful balance. Why am I having you press out? Do you feel that shoulder activation? Yeah? Soft bend in the elbow. Do you feel that shoulder activation? in through the shoulders when you give just a slight press out. Yeah? Now, no pressure. Now, just give a little, little pressure out. Yeah, you're gonna feel that thoracic region, that mid back rhomboids and a little bit of that latissimus dorsi. Shoulder set back, help set those shoulders back down and away from your ears. Woo, shake it out. Yeah, okay, so right here, right foot in the center. We're just gonna kick it out. Now I just want a little pressure, here we go. Kick, now work in that left quad, elbows. A little pressure with elbows coming back, 
melt your shoulders away from your ears. I'm doing an isometric contraction with that upper body with a little tension. Not gobs of tension, maybe 10 to 15% tension. You're giving just a little tension, little bit. Don't roll on the outside of that right foot. Nice and even. Come on. You want to work the ankle out. Come on, 45 seconds of work. Shoulders back. I know I'm asking a lot of your body. Shake it out. Whew. Again, no resistive band required. You could still just press back. Okay, let's get that left foot in the center. Soft bend in the left knee. Let's give that little tension, 45 seconds of work. Move through that wet cement. Isometric contraction through that upper body. Always working your body in new patterns, you guys. Let's go. You feel that quad, that right quad working? Woo! When you lengthen it out, that's an eccentric contraction. You're taking that quadricep to the end range of motion. Four and three, two, woo! Oh, I'm gonna ask a lot of you here. We're gonna take it behind us. We're gonna lift as we take one leg in the center and hold it right here. Hold for 30 seconds. Can you give a little tension with that resistive band? Just a little tension where the pinky is trying to come out and away from the body. Right here. You can do it. Working that hip extension. Working the rear deltoids in that isometric contraction. Let's switch legs. You're still holding it. You're, those pinkies are trying to press away from your body. You don't worry. Don't you worry. We've got 10 more seconds. I'll just rewind the music. Like an old cassette tape. We'll re rewind the music. Hit it. All right, come up. Ooh, good job today. Don't you worry, but we've got a lot of mobility and stretching ahead. Now, you can either put your right heel here or put your right heel here. Your call. Beautiful workout. You are not done. You have two, two songs. Your mobility block. So many you woke up this morning with so many blessings. Heel on the rebounder if you want. This morning, destined for greatness. Absolutely. Turn it to the side. You can come down and reach. You want, you can lift that top hand up. All options. Hand down if it was down, come up. Take that right leg up. Option. Left heel down or left heel up. Miracles. Oh, beautiful mobility. All right, turn that right leg to the side. Grab your frame if you want. Oh, beautiful stretch. With that top hand if you want. Top hand down. Come back up. Take that foot off. Good job. All right, guys. Do all this on the ground. Or if not, I want that back leg, knee up, on the rebounder, and arms up. 
Oh, beautiful hip flexor stretch. It starts from within. I guess it's a mental thing. It starts from within me. Oh. Front hand down. And look over that back shoulder. Okay, if you can, take that back hand down, front hand up. Alright, take that back leg off. Take that front leg on. Front leg down and lift. Look over that back shoulder. Come forward, front hand down, back hand lift. Last song. Last working song, or not working song, mobility song. hand down. Take that front leg off. Listen, shoulder mobility time. If you need to pad your knees, pad them. Okay. What we're going to do, shoulder mobility. You're just going to put your forearms on the rebounder, butt on your heels, and let your upper body hang below your arms. Feel that stretch all in through the shoulders. Butt to the heels. Hands on the reformer and just drop. You can move side to side with those hips. Shoulder mobility time. Shoulder and upper body postural mobility time. All right, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Cat cow stretch. Final mobility. Your timing. Cat cow stretch. Move through that wet cement. All right, guys, put that back hand on the reformer. Front hand, thread the needle. So that front hand is going to the back of the room. That back hand is simply on the reformer. Trying to sit your butt on your heels as well. Feel that stretch in your hips and your upper body. All right, front hand on the reformer. Bottom hand comes to the front of the room. Butt on the heels. Walk that front hand away from your body. One last stretch. You can, if you don't have the mobility, go back into this stretch. Hands on the reformer. If you can, touch the backs of your shoulders. Rest. Rest, cross your hands, and put your forearms on the rebounder. You're crossing. Elbows are on the rebounder. If you can't do this, you're gonna go to the first stretch where your hands are just on. Major, major, awesome postural uh, reset right here. You're gonna feel the pectoralis major and minor stretch, supraspinatus, subscapularis. All these muscles in the rotator cuff. This is gonna, this is a beautiful stretch to um, get rid of forward neck posture and uh, forward shoulder posture. Again, I already showed you, if you can't do this, don't do it. 
All right, if you're with me, wherever you're at, come on up. You can come on your rebounder or the floor. Just a beautiful side stretch. Eye gaze to the ceiling. A lateral stretch. Shoulders back. Other side. Shoulders back. Deep breath in. Mm 